morning, my wonderful tiny humans, and welcome back to Storytime with Teacher Sam. Today, we are going to be reading one of my absolute favorite books. As an Oak Tree Grows by G. Brian Karras. Now, you know, before we start, we need to make a couple predictions. What is going to happen in this book? I really want to take a closer look at this cover because it is awesome. So first, I'll show you. Can you tell me what you notice about the cover? On this side, what do you see? Can you tell me what the weather is like? What do you notice about the oak tree? Here, we will start with just this side. What can you tell me about that oak tree? And what is the weather like? I see snow. And I've noticed that the tree doesn't have any leaves. So what can you tell me about the season that this might be in? Do you know what the season might be? It can't be summer. It can't be spring. So what do you think? Winter, that's right. It is winter time on this side. In the winter, the weather is cold and a lot of the trees don't have leaves. That's how we know that it's winter time. What about on this side? What do you notice? It looks like there's planes flying in the sky. It looks like the sky is very, very blue. There's a kid cutting the grass down there. Hmm. The tree is full of leaves. What do you think? It can't be winter. Oh no, it cannot because this is what winter looks like. So, what do you think? Do you think it's spring? That's a good guess. Do you think it's summer? I think that's also a good guess. Now that we've examined the cover, let's get into it. As an oak tree grows, On a sunny late summer day, a young boy planted an acorn in the ground. Summer day, a boy planted an acorn. Do you see him down there? Right there. Later that year, an oak tree sprouted up from the earth into the air and the light. Each fall, it will shed its leaves and each spring, new ones will grow. So in the fall, fall comes right before winter. Fall is when the leaves fall off the trees. Spring is when the trees grow new leaves.
this is in the year 1800. That is a long, long time ago, friends. The boy no longer lived here. New people came and made their homes around the oak tree. They cleared the hillsides where forests once stood. The wood was used for building and to burn in fireplaces. Do you have a fireplace, friends? I want you to make sure to keep an eye on the hills and the sky, see how it changes or if it doesn't change. But the oak tree was left standing. Do you see those people down there? And the house? Notice the boats as well. This is the year 1825. The oak tree had room to spread wide and grew upward and outward. Sometimes snow was very heavy and a branch would break off. Do you see the branch down there? What do the hills look like? They're covered in snow. This is the year 1850. As the oak tree grew, everyone and everything was on the move. Children grew, st some stayed to work on the farms and others left to work in factories. Ships came and went, large engines rumbled along steel rails. Can you tell me what kind of vehicle drives on steel rails? I'll give you a hint. They go on railroads. It's a train. Birds perched in the oak tree to rest from long migrations. Some stayed and made new homes and others flew on. More people arrived and built new houses and buildings. This is a very busy picture, isn't it? The house now has a fence. There's a farm over here. All sorts of things. It looks like the community is growing. Just like the tree. Some years, little rain fell. Hills and fields were dry where trees had once stood and shaded the ground from the sun's rays. The oak tree's roots reached far underground for water as its leaves wilted. Wilted means that its leaves are drying up. Farmers conserved what little they had for their thirsty livestock until the rain fell again. Do you know what livestock is? Livestock is a farmer's cows and sheep and pigs, all of the animals that are alive on the farmer's farm. This is the year 1900. Electricity came through wires that were strung over hills and through valleys. It powered street lamps and homes. The land twinkled with lights as stars faded in the night sky. Did you know that we did not have electricity until the year 1900? So before people had light switches and light bulbs, they had candles and fireplaces. Can you tell me some other things that run on electricity?
That's great. Fantastic job. This is the year 1925. The oak tree grew slowly and steadily while all around it life sped by. Do you see how many houses there are now? But it looks like the hills haven't changed. So that's good. The lake over here is still just the same as well. Some things change while some remain the same. People rode in cars to go to work and visit friends, to go shopping, or just for a drive. What else do you see in this picture? Can you tell me? Can you point some things out to me? You all are such fantastic readers. I love how observant you are. You notice things so well. This is the year 1950. Soon the air was filled with jet contrails and radio waves and sound waves of beeping cars, barking dogs, zooming motorboats, whistling trains and music. Do you know what a jet contrail is? If you see up here, these little white clouds, when the clouds are like that, really thin, you know that they were made from a plane. Next time you see a jet contrail, you should let me know. Maybe you could draw one for me. That would be so much fun. This is the year 1975. The oak tree is 200 years old. How old do you think Miss Sam is? Let me know. <laughs> it has shed its leaves and grown new ones every year. Animals, birds, and insects have made homes in its folds and holes and branches. Can you name some animals that live in trees? I know that squirrels live in trees. I love squirrels. All sorts of birds live in trees. All sorts of insects. Can you name a few? This is the year 2000. The oak tree with its strong roots, trunk, and limbs has survived many storms over its lifetime. Now a fog rolls in and a big storm is on the way. Okay, we're gonna pause here for a second because this page has a lot of things going on. Can you tell me the season that this might be in? Earlier in the book, I actually told you do you remember what it is? It's fall, where the leaves are falling off. What a fantastic job. Now, what do you think is about to happen? This page says a big storm is on the way. Do you know what happens to trees in big storms? Sometimes, if the wind blows a little too hard, branches will fall off of the trees because they'll be going whoosh in the wind. So I wonder, what else do you think happens in a storm? Heavy rain, lightning, thunder? Hmm. There's the lightning. 
The storm is powerful and the oak tree is split in two. It does not survive this storm. Wow. Now let's take a moment to look at this picture too. There are a lot of things going on. Look at how big that town is now. We've got all sorts of things. Look at the orchards up on the hill. And right there, that's where the oak tree used to be. Let's see what the people are gonna do. People come to look where the great oak tree once stood. The tree is cut into pieces to be used for furniture, firewood, and mulch. Do you have any wooden furniture in your house? Did you know that paper is made out of wood? Yeah. Fun fact with Miss Sam. <laughs> but not to worry. We can be sad that the oak tree is gone, but a new day dawns. Once again, the ground is warm and welcoming as a new oak tree grows. Now that our book is over, let's talk about it. There is just so much to unpack. First, let's start with the seasons. What is your favorite season? Do you think that you can draw me a picture of you and your family playing in your favorite season? I would love that so much. My favorite season is fall because I just think that the trees are so beautiful when their leaves start to change color. It is also the start of a brand new school year. And I love school. You all know that I love school. Now let's talk about the oak tree. What did you notice as we were reading through the book about what the oak tree was doing? It was growing just like each one of you. Do you think that you could draw the tree and maybe include some of your favorite animals that live in trees? Lastly, let's talk about the community that we saw. We saw the community go through really big changes and storms and all sorts of things. Our community is going through some changes right now, but I want you to remember the end of this story. We saw that the big tree was used to help people. So many people out there were helped by this big tree. And a new tree is growing in its place. Now, I know that big storms and changes can be scary, and it's okay to feel scared. The most important thing to know is that you and all of us and our whole community, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be more than okay. Because as you saw in this book, that community was even better after their big changes. Change is scary, but change is awesome too. I will always be here for you, my little acorns. And I know that that's something that will never change. <laughs> so please send me your drawings and I will see you next time on Storytime with Teacher Sam. Bye.